Hey everybody, Jeff from Show It here. In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about site canvases, what they are, how to use them, and how to convert a normal page canvas to a site canvas for use throughout your site. So I'm gonna use our simple design here, and all of our designs in Show It are typically going to come with some site canvases already in your design. Things like your header, your footer, and your mobile nav will probably all be site canvases as they will be used across multiple pages. But for the sake of this example, I'm going to convert these back to regular page canvases so they'll lose this striping and this edit button and they'll act just like the other canvases on this page here. And then we're gonna look at how to convert them to site canvases and use them on other pages. All right, so I've converted everything back to a page canvas. You'll see we don't have any of that striping. I can edit them right on the page here without having to click into anything. And under our site canvases here, we have nothing currently listed. So our simple design here is a one page design and I've created these page two and three to use for example. So for example, let's say we copy over our header without it being a site canvas and add it to page two here. I'll click on my three dots option menu and choose paste header above. There we go, now we've got our header on the page, also a page canvas just like that. Now I'm going to go back to our home page and we're going to convert this canvas into a site canvas. To do that, again, we're gonna click the options menu. We're gonna come down here to convert to site canvas. Now I've converted this to a site canvas. You'll see that striping both in the sidebar and in the staging area. I'll have to click in to edit that site canvas. However, if I jump over to page two, you'll notice it is still a page canvas. So just because I've converted this canvas doesn't mean that every instance of it that already exists is going to become a site canvas. It now means that the header is a site canvas and I could replace this page canvas with the site canvas header. So this is really important. You wanna make sure that you've created your site canvases ahead of time. Sometimes we see users create you know, 10, 15 pages of work and they all have page canvases, which can be a little bit tricky and I'll show you exactly why. So now that I've got my header created as a site canvas, I'm gonna copy the site canvas version and I'm going to paste it on my page three here. Same thing that we did before, paste it above right there and you'll see that's a site canvas. So let's say I wanna adjust my site canvas by adding my business name. There we go. That's looking more personalized. We'll stretch that out on mobile as well. There we go. All right, so now I've added that to my site canvas. You can see it's updated here. If I click to page three, which has our site canvas, it's updated there as well. That's the nature of a site canvas. Any change I make inside the site canvas editor here is going to apply to all instances of our site canvas. But what about page two that doesn't have the site canvas? You'll notice here on page two that has not updated because this is not a site canvas. What I could do in this case is simply delete my header from this page and then I could add the site canvas in. So instead of copying over, I'm gonna use another method. I'll click the three dots option, choose add new canvas. And from my current site, I can choose site canvas header right there. Can add that in, it will add to the bottom of my page stack in this case, but all I have to do is click and drag and drop to reorder. Another important factor to consider about site canvases is when you click into a site canvas, you have all of these options over here to edit the canvas and change the settings. However, if you click and select a site canvas without clicking in to edit it, do notice that you still get a few limited options here without clicking that blue edit button. So you may need to change stacking order or select hidden to start or change a sticky setting both inside the site canvas itself and then at that page level as well. This allows you to customize how a site canvas might perform on a specific page. As you're building your site, you may find things that you want across multiple pages like footers, headers, menus, maybe social canvases, or even testimonials to be site canvases. Any content that you think will be on multiple pages of your site, it's always good to use a site canvas so that those items will update automatically just by editing that site canvas. I hope this video has helped you better understand site canvases as you build your beautiful new show at site. If you need anything, just contact our team. We're happy to help. Until next time, happy designing.